Around Kansas, brought to you by Tarwater Farm and Home. Come on by, we'll treat you like family. Welcome to Around Kansas. I'm Deb Beisel, your co-host. Beware the fog, and of course we mean Fog Allen. And if you've ever been to the Allen Field House, when the cheers and chants of the KU fans can reach upwards of 120 decibels, then you know what beware the fog means and what impact that has on the opposing teams. It can scare the, uh, scare the doodle waddle right out of them when they're out there on the court at the Allen Field House. Well, you know, Fog Allen, Forrest Allen, actually played at KU before he was the coach. He played for James Naismith and he succeeded him then as the coach at KU. Fog Allen was born in Missouri, go figure. And he and his brothers formed their own basketball team when he was just 10 years old. And at that time, the rules developed by Naismith allowed only one player to shoot the free throws. And for the Allen family, that was Fog. He became a student at KU in Lawrence in 1904, and in 1905 he was also playing for the Kansas City Athletic Club. It was his idea to promote the game by conducting a world championship basketball. The Kansas City team was to play the touring Buffalo, New York Germans in the convention hall. Each of the games was to have a different referee, and Naismith did the honors for the third game. Allen, once again the designated free thrower, hit 17 of his attempts and the KCAC team won the national championship. Now, while Allen was playing for KU, he also coached nearby Baker University team for three seasons from 1905 to 1908. Now, when KU coach Naismith decided to leave in 1907, even though he was only a senior, Fog Allen was appointed the coach of the team. And you know what? You know who the only losing coach in KU history was? James Naismith. So Fog Allen, who went on to a stunning record at KU, really outstripped and outperformed his former coach. He had a, he compiled in 50 seasons a 746 to 264 losses record. Upon his retirement, he had the all-time record for the most coaching wins among the college basketball coaches. Today, KU continues to honor this great coach by playing in Allen Fieldhouse. And Allen was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 1959. He died in 1974. Go over to KU. Show your, uh, show your support and wear the fog. We'll be right back. This hog is head over hoof for meal made from U.S. soybeans. Now, one hog isn't that impressive, but suppose we add another, and another, and another. Before long, you've got billions of hungry customers around the world all clamoring for the same thing. Our soybeans. Learn more about the billion-dollar appetite of animal agriculture at beyondtheelevator.com. Brought to you by America's Soybean Farmers and their checkoff. 